So here's the question, guys. He's asking us about, you know, Rick's mailbag came to us and it says, hey, Doc, what do you think about uh, smoking meat? Is it safe? Is it not safe? And so on. Smoking has been used for eons to preserve food, right? It, it was a way of doing that and fermentation were the two ways we knew how to do it. Salt the tar out of it, ferment it or smoke it. And that keeps the food from rotting. And that was one of the big things to it. Now, today, it definitely has a flavor to it. Now, the question is, are you getting carcinogens? in there? The answer is yes, you are, but no more than you do when you grill, right? It's the same concept. If you're grilling all the time, anytime you're burning something, that off gas, that vapor, whatever that is that's coming off of there is going to go into the product that you're eating. So the question then becomes, what part of the product becomes dangerous to you? The fatty part is more dangerous than anything that we've learned over the years when you're grilling. So if you have a fatty meat, for example, just cut that off and don't eat that part of it. Yeah, I do too. I'm a big fan of it myself. Brisket and I are good friends. I'm Irish, that's how this works, right? But the idea behind this is as you go through this, you start thinking, can I get away with this? Yes, you can smoke meats and things, okay? Here's the question. Is smoking a, a meat or something like that? First off, are you gonna be eating it every day? Probably not. Right, that's the first thing. If you're gonna smoke something, it's not that easy to do. It's time consuming, it takes a little bit of effort, you have to prep for it. So you figure, all right, even if you do it once a week, is that any more harmful to you than a Pop-Tart? <laughs> I mean, that's the reality of it. Or a box of cereal, or some process this or that. The reality is, no, it's not. So you, you go through it and you pick and choose your battles. Now, if you're sitting down there with a six pack of soda and you know four boxes of Pop-Tarts and nine candy bars and a smoked brisket, probably not your best year coming ahead. Okay, so it, it, it's an accumulation thing. We build this up over time. So the longer we do it, the more likely it's gonna cause problems. But your body was designed to handle stresses. It was designed to handle this. Your environment is always going to give these to you. The key is you try to limit them. So if you're gonna do smoking meats and things like that, that's okay. Just don't make it a daily habit and try to watch some of your other stresses so you can offset it. But that's a great, great mailbag and we appreciate that.